Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here as winter sets in in Rimworld with Archer James and Star. Star's hard at work out here. Digging away at the metal. Hopefully this stays nice and warm throughout the winter time. Nice to have a nice even amount of food coming in. By a weird wild man who wouldn't join us. See you. I desperately need somebody who else who hauls and cleans. <laughs> Poor Archer being the only one who handles this stuff is just like really a mess. Star's upset. What are you upset about, Star? Jealous of Archer's bedroom. You know what? You're jealous. Did we establish what, whose bedroom is actually nicer? Wealth is 860. Wealth is 861. So this this bedroom is actually nicer as long as it's clean. <laughs> Alright, Archer, where are you? Drop those off. Please come clean um, Star's room. Yes, yeah, so it goes away. As soon as, as soon as her room is clean, it goes away. She doesn't want to clean it. She refuses to clean it. But she wants it clean. So let them eat the regular meals until they run out. Then we'll switch over to pemmican. Let's actually do a quick uh, survey of the field. If there's anything that's been killed. Oh yeah, that one yak we, we shot hasn't been brought in yet. Mmm, yak meat. Yaktastic. We're just almost done. Once he's done in here, I'll probably make sure he uh, cleans everything. All right, machining is done. All right, what do we want after this? Let's get, let's get plate armor. Let me get James a nice set of plate armor. All right, cleaning is finally happening. That's good. It's getting a little disgusting in here. Hey, first of our uh, harvest from the geothermal area. That's nice. Slaver's coming. Slaver's coming. Another slaver we can't do anything with. We might get lucky this time. I don't know why we get so many slavers. I usually don't get slaver um, caravans. We get slaver caravans like crazy lately. And by lately, I mean this game. All right, James, come talk to Bubbles over here. What you got, Bubbles? Most expensive person is Fitz. With slightly sensitive, teetotaler, but volatile. He's got very good stats. A stab scar. The cheapest person is Tony. Tony, 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 who's greedy and teetotaler, and with incredibly middling stats. But we don't have enough money for any of that, so it does not matter. See you later, slavers. Oh no, toxic fallout. So toxic fallout will make everybody sick for being outside. If they're outside for too long. That shouldn't be that much of a trouble for us. We just won't be outside a lot, especially because our growing is inside, which is excellent in this situation. All right, so we got a fueled smithy and a machining table built. Um, I don't really need the, the fueled smithy right now, but I really just want to—I really want to shred some mechanoids. We have the ones we have in our base here, our back room here. So that's mostly what I wanted this for, just to get them out of just to get them out of the mess here. We could make some new. I think over here we could make a sword of a new sword if we wanted, but I think we're pretty happy with the Gladius he's got. Oh, our animals are going to get sick. Hang on. Um, I think I might just butcher our two animals because they're going to get sick anyways. So here, let's zone them. We're going to put both of our animals in area one. And when their little bit of toxic buildup they've got going on wears off, we'll uh, butcher them. So I think with the toxic buildup they have now, if we butchered them, they would just, they would, uh, they would rot immediately. I don't want that. James and Star hooking up, huh? That's actually a little bit of a problem. Because James is an ascetic who likes a, a crappy room. And Star is jealous who wants a nice room. So that one of them is going to be unhappy. Winter has officially started. Which I thought had already started, so <laughs> this is a nice surprise. What is this? Murderous beasts lost a scouting party to a pack of nine manhunting alpha beavers. Once to draw the beasts to you to be killed. Placed under your control, you will have to feed and house them, but the battle... Alright, so they'll give us one person to kill these nine folks, and we could get some stuff out of it. Some honor plus an advanced component. Word of trust is actually a really powerful psychic ability for building a group. Um, if it's the one I think it is. Is it the one I think it is? Yeah, this helps with re re recruiting resistance. Um, now nobody in our team has psychic powers as it is, but. All right, I think I'm gonna do this quest. We'll get the word of trust, even though we know we can't actually use it right now. The Janissary has arrived. Hello, Petros. You have a 
bio-coated chain shotgun. We're gonna mostly just have everybody stay inside. So let me actually, here, let's do this. Let's do new area. We'll rename this inside. And we're gonna restrict everybody to inside. Ibex is gone, crazy. So you're kind of annoyed that he hit that thing considering that means that there's one less for the other guys to hit when we come in. All right, here comes the alpha beavers. They did come in this side, so one of them is gonna hit that trap. Eventually, like that. Are you dead? You're dead. Now we could go out there and fight them, but why not let this raid do it, apparently? <laughs> oh, good timing. All right, let's slow this down. Gotta watch this happen. Come on, raid. All right, here we go. Sorrow, Kamaro. He's dodging him right now. Oh, there we go. I think my money's on the Alpha Beavers, but I think it might be closer than one would think. They all have melee weapons, which is good for them. Otherwise, the Alpha Beavers would take them, no problem. Oh, one of them's dead. Hmm. Think you're fleeing. You're not fleeing. Spread your damage around. As many of these things dead as possible. Alright, I think he's, he's mostly killed him. These guys will be dead by the end of the day. We got what? Oh, no, you won't die. You're five hours. You're actually fine as well. All right, so there's two left. Let's just speed this along. Let's use the guy who's um, completely expendable. Some good shots. Those were less so. All right, come back. Oh, that's in the doorway now. All right, apparently we're fighting the last one, because they ended up in the doorway, <laughs> which means the door is going to stay open. All right, I think that was all of them, right? Oh, there's a couple of them that are dying still. Oh, no, you're okay. No, you're in the process of dying. All right, go on home. It's fine. We'll just wait for this thing to die. It's only four hours. No problem. Oh, one of these alpha beavers actually didn't go bad. I'm kind of surprised by that. I suppose I should try and get them to uh, deal with that right away, huh? Not much, but it's something. Every little bit helps. Hey, plate armor's done. I guess this is the upside of being stuck inside is there's lots of uh, time <laughs> time for research. All right, I also want to get Devil Strand. We can try to get that go going in the um, summertime. Summer, summer, summer time. Summer time. Oh, pods arrived. What oh, was our, it's our neuroformer thing? Archer, please come get this. It's not good for anybody at this moment, but it might be at some point in the future, hopefully. Bye, Petros. Thanks for the help. Although mostly it was these guys. <laughs> Sizable harvest coming in, so that's good. Great, psychic drone, just what we needed. Oh, there's another alpha beaver that was still alive. Nice. Oh, they got taken care of. I let the animals out for a minute so that they could eat. But I'm not sure if they're going to do that or not. We'll see. Looks like maybe there's nothing out here for them to eat. So they're not going for anything. Right, let's get rid of the ibex. Yeah, that's what I thought. It went, oh no, it didn't. I thought it went toxic immediately, but it did not. Okay, never mind. So we can actually do that if we want. It's staying pretty cold in here, so let's put down that. I'll put down a fireplace just to keep this place a little warmer. Hey, Devil Strand's done. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and get um, thermal power. Or actually, do we want to aim for gun turrets? Let's let's aim for gun turrets. Let's get uh, gunsmithing done. Always nice to have a little bit of turret power. I imagine. Hey, toxic fallout's over already. Okay, nice. Um, that was a pretty short toxic fallout, all things considered. A squirrel has self-tamed, huh? Sorry, Mr. Squirrel. I have no need for you. 
right, so we're keeping a little bit of kibble over here for the animals. Now a hare has self-tamed. We're getting a lot of these random animals self-taming. All right, animal. Um, hare, come join your squirrel friend in here. You're going to get butchered here in a second. All right, so we have some visitors passing by. They're going to have a couple of things. Probably nothing particularly interesting, but let's chat anyways. Hello, Chan. Got my Pila. You know, some very poor quality clothing. Hey, first potato harvest of the winter is here. Almost there with heel root too, which will be nice. Looks like we had strawberries earlier and I didn't see it. Hoopstone in the middle of the night, huh? Interesting choice. What is this? Caught in bed with the wrong person. Imprisoned. An appropriate lover show her sex. She wants to, to keep the prisoner for 20 days. No, I'm not, I'm not keeping somebody here for 20 days. It's too long. We'll pop these things open one day, but for now, this is we're just going to use this as a storage area. Because <laughs> why not? It's nice and warm in there. I appreciate that. More visitors. These ones don't have anything to trade, so... We'll just say hi as they walk past. Nice. It's not useful right now, but a plasteel meteor of that size is pretty helpful in the future. Oh, left us some silver. That's nice of them. We're so pathetic, everyone leaves us gifts. <laughs> oh, wow. Already to a marriage, huh? Engaged now. Very exciting. Just goes to show what close company will get you. We'll start shacking up early. Trying to square off this room, but I'm watching the, the ceilings to make sure we don't actually get under um, heavy ceiling or large deep mountain, whatever it's called. Because uh, I don't want to run in the risk of getting bugs like we have actually down here. I didn't even think about this. We could get bugs down here. <laughs> didn't think about it. Oh no. Oh, that'll be fun if that happens. All right, we got gunsmithing. So we're heading to gun turrets. We need blowback operation next. So with this smoothed up here, we should be able to run power cables through the wall. That way we can get the one off the floor to stop because it's ugly. Shaman merchant is coming. James, this is your job. All right, let's see. Anything? I kind of want to get these two donkeys. We could totally buy them. They would allow us to carry stuff when we want to go do caravans. And they would potentially would breed, which is, you know, also another source of in income. There we go. A little bit of plasteel. Now we got two donkeys on the team. All right, James has inspired creativity. So James, are you actually good at anything creative? You actually are pretty good at art. We should try and get an art bench up for you. Oh, we got another weird-headed snowman. All right, we have an art bench. Let's get a large sculpture. Let's not use steel or wood. Stone blocks only. It's going to be a James job. Okay, masterwork. Wow, James, way to, way to come through, bud. Masterwork steel uh, slate sculpture, which is called Expression 8. 8-3. The sculpture bears the illustration of a solitary lion suspended in the air. The scene takes place inside a town built near a lake. Alright, well let's put that in here so that everyone can look at it and go, ooh, so pretty. Actually finally have medicine, that's good. Solar flare. Well, at least it'll stay warm in there. Visitors with a few things to trade. It's been a pretty quiet winter so far, I gotta say. Transport pod crash. Hello, Pepper. What's your deal? You have a cochlear implant. Cochlear, depending on how you want to pronounce it. You're trigger happy pyromaniac, but you're sanguine. Won't do firefighting. Because for some reason, pyromaniacs never do firefighting. Good with plants, good with the animals. Decent art. Excited about intelligence. I'm going to try this. Some people, and I'm sure some of you will say this, some people are very upset about pyromaniacs. They don't like them. They think they're too dangerous. But I have found that as long as you stay on top of like, as long as you're you you pay attention to when they uh when they go in their little pyro breaks, it's usually not actually that big of a deal. Wait, another transport pod crash? Oh, this guy this guy landed and he's immediately walking out the map. He is also a pyromaniac. It's raining pyromaniacs. All right, blowback operation is done. So now we're straight on the gun turrets. We're getting our research is getting done a lot faster than I expected when we're at tribal speeds. I don't know why that why that's happening exactly, but I'm not really complaining about it. 
Uh oh. Pepper's got an infection. Yeah, Pepper joined us. I have a feeling that was gonna happen. I mean, if I didn't want it to happen, I would have just let her die out there, but stay close. She needs tending here pretty quickly. What? Who was once, uh, Pepper is now Veggie Lover. <laughs> it's one of my, uh, one of my patrons. And that is a, seems like a very appropriate transition from Pepper to Veggies. From spice to carb. All right, it looks like Veggie Lover's gonna be fine. There's the, her immunity is almost there. She'll be great. She can start starting fires anytime now. Oh, we got a man under pack. Bunch of goats. Nine goats. I'll let these goats sort of wound themselves on our traps. Wait, are they attacking our donkeys? They don't usually attack the animals. Yep, they just decided to attack one of the animals. I feel like that doesn't usually happen. All right, uh, James, let's get these guys. Come on, goat. That's one. That's two. Come on, you stupid goats. Usually they have their, like, tele telepathy lets them know that we're over here. There we go. So just... Really just want like one or two at a time, not not uh, not the whole lot, so seems to be working out okay. Get him. Goat time. Deal with those guys with those weird horizontal pupils. James is bleeding quite a bit. Last one. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Unrestricted. As spring approaches the boreal forest, we're gonna stop here for today. Pretty quiet winter, all things considered. Got a veggie lover on the team. Got an engagement. Actually, both a dating and an engagement. It was a very fast courtship. But uh, yeah, we're gonna. Close up shop. Thanks so much for joining me. See you guys next time.